Uh, Mr. Mencken. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, too, Serge. <laughs> OK. I can't believe this. We're actually going into the studio next week. We're going to be laying down rhythm tracks. That's great. Do me a favor, David. Hurry up and get rich so you can buy this house. Dylan. Did you have an appointment? No, but I called you today twice. Oh, gee. I'm sorry to get back to you. It's just been one of those hectic days. Up to my earlobes and alligators. What can I do for you? Well, my father and I were wondering if uh, there were any problems. I mean, uh, we haven't heard anything. Dylan, this is not a good time. Uh, I got a partner's meeting in 20 minutes. Does that mean there are problems? Dylan, I thought about this long and hard. I just can't go along with what you want. What? I'm just not ready to dissolve your trust fund. All I'm trying to do here is to be objective and to look out for your best interest. I will decide what is in my best interest. Not you, not anybody. Does that include your father? All you know is what you read in the newspapers and what they tell you on the 6 o'clock news. Now, my father deserves a second chance, and I'm going to give it to him. Look, Dylan, that's very noble of you. But a trustee has to be a little bit more impartial than that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get to a meeting. So that's it. You're just going to stonewall me. Look, son, you've made your point. And I promise you that I will take it under advisement. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. I thought you had a date with Dylan tonight. Yeah, he said he had some things to talk over with his dad. But he's... I still can't believe we're moving. Don't pack yet. We have to sell first. Yeah, but still, it just feels like everything's changing. What? I mean, it's not just the house. It's me. It's my friends. I mean, I don't even know who's talking to me this week and who's not. Brenda's still not speaking to you? She says hello, but that's about it. I mean, it's Friday night. Do you know how many times I would have talked on the phone by now? Well, honey, this has got to be difficult for her. You got something she wanted. Believe me, that's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, I guess so. Give her some time. She's got to come to terms with this in her own way. <laughs> 